You are eternally saved. Again, I know Lena Mama Nagele Bajakayadaka. The Holy Ghost spoke to me in the airport. When you came to the airport, by your choice, you obtained your boarding pass. By your will, you walk through the terminal right to the boarding gate. By your will, you could have still gone out, but you didn't. You sat there. They locked the doors. By your will, you strap yourself. But from the moment they locked the doors and the pilot started taxiing, you cannot stand up and say i don't want to go no way you must go with that plane whether crying or laughing but as far as that flight is concerned it must go to destination ladies and gentlemen the day you receive christ by your will you invited christ by your will you asked jesus to come in but the moment jesus entered it is too late for you to go out yeah no 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 once you enter you enter so, so is human will not required to go out no the way it is designed when human will finally agree it is one way traffic and the way he designed eternal salvation he designed it in a way that once you enter you can go out that is the way it was designed it's one way one way traffic there's no reverse there is no gates at the back once you enter that's why jesus said i am the door jesus said i am the door he says by me if any man enter so you entered by christ to go out you have to use christ to go out and christ is not an exit door these guys were demonized in that city should say in divination sorcery accurate prophecy but the source is wrong accurate visions but the source is wrong accurate dreams but the source is wrong and don't ever be deceived no matter how accurate a prophecy the intent of satan is not for good never satan has never been found to do good just as there is no bad in god there is no good in satan don't be deceived that's why a lady that goes out with an unbeliever has decided to make satan her father-in-law and if satan is your father-in-law every time he comes to your house he will come to steal to kill and to destroy There's nothing like a decent unbeliever. He's a child of the devil. And if you marry a child of the devil, your father-in-law will be Satan. And father-in-law must of necessity visit his daughter-in-law. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has light and darkness? What communion has the temple of God with Belial? Nothing in common.